Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the length of your song in Studio One. And this is going to be very, very important when you want to export your song, especially when you want to import your song into your mastering project. And it's just going to make life a whole lot easier. Like, if you don't do this, you're going to need to cut off half of your song or however much time you've got left over in your mastering projects and all that sort of stuff which is stuff that i was doing before i figured this out so i just want to give you this information so that you can speed up your process and change the length of your song as you probably want to do if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing and this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving eyes so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this shall we so here we have studio one up and running and as you can tell We've moved the playhead to the end of the song and it's currently saying the song is four minutes and 56 seconds. Now, if you know me, you know I do not make songs at four minutes and 56 seconds. You're lucky if you get a three minute song from me, okay? So, this is wrong, okay? Now, there's two ways to go about changing the length of the song. The first way is to just set up your song with the right amount of time in the beginning. And the way you do that is you look at the length of the beat that you're importing into Studio One. But if you're producing your song from scratch in Studio One, then you won't know exactly how long your song is gonna be and you'll need to change it later on down in the line. So first, I'm gonna show you how to retroactively change the length of your song while you're in the project. And then I'm gonna show you how to start a new project and change the length of your song so that it's what you need it to be and you don't have to retroactively actively change it okay so in order to change our song length first we need to decide how long we need our song to be now usually you'd have a beat in here let me drag a beat in here real quick and we'll just pick the end of the beat to stop everything right here so that's at three minutes and 12 seconds and we can see that the bars we've got is 970101 okay now we need to go to song then we need to go to song setup and we need to go to general. And when we get here, we can either use bars or we can change this to seconds. I th I'm unsure if changing this back and forth changes how long everything is, but let's first go to seconds and we'll change this to three minutes and 12 seconds. And in order to do, to do this, you can scroll up on your mouse wheel or you can click and drag this up and down to get to the right number. You can't double click and change the number that's just not available. You gotta, you know, scroll up and do all that sort of stuff. So this is now the song end. I can apply this, but what this will do is it will change the top of our project to show in seconds instead of bars. So we can go to bars now, and it seems that the bars is actually the same as it needs to be for our second. So now we can apply this again. And now we've got our bars up top and we can, you know, set this up so that we can see exactly what's going on. And here we go. We've got our song length changed. Very, very easy, very, very straightforward, okay? Now, in order to do this when you're actually starting your song, that's very easy as well. We'll go to file, go to new song. And when this pops up, all you need to do is down here, there's a song length option and you just change the song length. And obviously you can only really do this if you know how long your song's going to be already. So in order to do this, you'll need to check your beat and see how long the beat is. So let's go to three minutes and 12 seconds and we'll just use the same beat. And we'll of course use my vocal mixing template. So we'll need to enter that again, three minutes and 12 seconds and we'll go to OK. And this will create a new project with the song length at three minutes and 12 seconds. Now, when I was creating my songs before, I would just do the basic information like the project name and all that sort of stuff and the tempo, but I wouldn't touch the song length because I didn't think that was important. I thought I could change it later, which as you just found out, you can. But if you can change it at first and you know what beat you're gonna use, you might as well do that to just get everything set up the way you need it to be as soon as possible without having to edit it down the road. So 
I'm gonna wait for this to pop up and then I'm gonna show you that that has worked and then we're gonna circle back. So we've just got a new project and this new project is supposed to be <laughs> the right amount of time, but the actual thing up here is going on forever pretty much. So let me go into song and go into song setup and make sure everything's where it needs to be. And it seems like it is, but we're gonna move this over one and apply that and then go to okay. And it seems like that's just not going to change much. It's not gonna change the actual work space, which is a little bit annoying. Sometimes this happens. It seems like, I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but let's see if our song is gonna be, you know, super long if we drag it into a mastering project or if it's gonna be exactly as long as it needs to be, okay? So let's add to a project and we'll create a completely new mastering project for this beat and see if it comes in at three minutes and 12 seconds or maybe a little bit longer than that. So let's click OK, update mastering files. And as you can see, it's actually exporting of three minutes and 12 seconds. So that means that the song is three minutes and 12 seconds long. We really don't even need to go through this whole process, but I just wanna show you to make sure that you see that everything's working exactly how it's supposed to. So I'll let this finish out and we'll see what's up. So here we are, and as you can see, three minutes and 10 seconds, three minutes and 14, I guess, as we did move it up like one percentage of a bar. I don't know exactly what measurement we moved up, but it was like one. Um, so as you can see, we're around 112 anyways. We're not like seven minutes as it was showing us. So that worked as well, okay? So that's how you change the length of your song in Studio One. My question of the day for you is, how long are your songs usually? Let me know, because I think that's very, very interesting. Like, I like to make short songs, like no longer than three minutes, 30 seconds, no four minute songs or anything like that. I only do two verses. Let me know how you make your songs. I'd really like to know that. And if you've got any questions or any other tutorials that you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. And since you made it to the end of this video, I do have a special gift for you. I want to give you five of my best R&B trap beats for absolutely free. All you need to do is click on the link in the description or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats. This will also give you five of my basic licenses, which usually cost $29.95. So you're getting over a hundred dollars of free beats, okay? And with these beats, you can upload your song to Spotify. You can make money from your music. So definitely take advantage of this opportunity before it goes away, okay? In the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. And I'll see you there. Peace out.